Hello lovely people and welcome back once again to the channel. It's been a while since I've made another video but as you all know the Nova project kind of came to a standstill for me a while back realizing its limitations mostly because of the hobby 20 kilogram servo motors that she uses. They just lack the strength and torque needed to build a proper robot dog. But it's still a great project for learning and experience in robotics and in my obviously biased opinion. <laughs> But also in my last video, I talked about playing around with different motors. Um, and in this video, I'm going to update you on my latest projects and see what you think and what the interest level is amongst the Nova community. Your feedback will help me decide if I should continue with my very latest project and bring it to YouTube again like we did with Nova SM3. So while I was playing around with these larger 150 kilogram servo motors, I found some similar pro problems that we had with Nova SM3 that exist with this new project that I've named Nova SM4. It's definitely a much more robust robot dog than Nova SM3 and it's much more powerful and durable and has better structural design. However, it's much heavier than Nova. Uh, SM3 was seven and a half pounds. This one is 18 pounds. Let's see what it can do here. This one doesn't fall off the table. You can tell from the sound that it's so much more durable. You can even tell being able to lift it up like this. Try that with Nova. <laughs> or try this with Nova. And it wouldn't handle it very well. So it's adjusting the gate a little here and there through this demo. So that's why it seems to change pattern a bit from the gate. But yeah, it's pretty cool. A lot heavier but much more robust and strong like I've demonstrated. Okay. So that's Nova SM4, one of my latest projects, and it runs off 12 volts, so there's a little difference in the powertrain. Still running off a of Teensy, and right now it doesn't have any sensors or anything on it at this stage. But in comparison to Nova SM3, it's a world of difference. And also in the previous video, I showed that I've been playing around with BLDC actuators as well. And despite their cost, they're definitely the way to go when it comes to a robot dog especially. So I went ahead and got myself a pretty nice CNC machine, which I've been playing around with lots, designing a robot dog based on BLDC motors and the MIT Cheetah project. Um, I've redesigned the parts to make them more easily manufactured on a home CNC. And then a few months after of playing around with my new CNC, Nova SM5 GT was born. You can see I've managed to redesign all the parts to be able to get them manufactured along with some sheet metal and some carbon fiber body panels. It still needs a bit of engineering work like uh, respecting the dr drive belt to a more standard drive belt and a better tensioning system. You can see here I printed clear acrylic parts so that we can see what's going on. Um, it works wonderfully, but you can hear those motors too, they sound nice. Ooh, I almost knocked Nova SM4 off the stand. So yeah, uh, the hardware just needs to be complete. This is not going to run off of an Arduino-based system. It's probably going to be on a Jetson Nano or something similar, and probably ROS for software because I don't feel like dealing with the learning curve there is between programming an Arduino-based servo motor-driven uh, robot as opposed to BLDC motor actuator-driven. So yeah, this project, like the rest of my projects, will be open source, so you'll be free to use any of the designs and hardware that you'd like. But I'm very curious to see how interested you guys are in the project, as I'm sure most of you don't have your own CNC machine. So maybe I'll put together a package of parts to build Nova SM5 GT and make them available as a kit to those of you who want to challenge themselves with such a project. 
Uh, it's not an inexpensive project, though I don't see it being mechanically any more complex than assembling Nova SM3, especially, uh, it's even more simple. So again, if enough people are interested, I could assemble kits to include everything to build SM5 while keeping the cost down through purchasing motors, parts, and materials. So let me know what you think in the comments below, guys, or reach out to me direct. Uh, thanks as always for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for another video soon.